Williams. It's me, Aja. And I'm Shanice. It's Friday, and we're back with another episode of Ram Train News. So let's get started. Welcome, Welcome back, back, Ram, Ram Nation. Nation. For the rest of the world, mm-hmm. I was get help that. us. Just help us, please. <laughs> is located in Rome, Georgia. I wonder what it is. Berry College is located in Rome, Georgia. It is a private co-educational college. Berry has the world's largest connecting college campus and the student to faculty ratio is 12 to 1. The university is a member of the Southern Athletic Association. Berry currently has 21 sports. There are more than 75 student organizations and the college has an annual student involvement fair which typically takes place in the beginning of the fall semester. Barry offers many majors, minors, and pre-professional studies. The acceptance rate at Barry is 60%. The average ACT score is a 26, and the average GPA is 3.7. For more information, visit the website. November 22nd, Blood Assurance is hosting their annual blood drive here at Tyner, and they want you all to take the part. Ms. Stone has more information on the event. All right, guys, it's time for the Tyner Academy Blood Drive again. It is going to be Tuesday, November 22nd from 9 to 3 at the auditorium. We have two buses coming this year, which gives us six slots per time slot. And we start, like I said, at 9 o'clock. And our last time slot will be at 2.30. I know the juniors have the ACT that day, but you are free to come and fill up all of the 2 o'clock on slots. Uh, we also have uh, permission slips that you need to have signed and brought back in to me if you are 16 and 17. As soon as you bring in your signed permission slip, you can sign in to your time to donate blood. And if you are 18, all you need to do is just sign up on one of the time slots. You can come and give the gift of life. Due to the wildfires, air quality in the south is poor in putting Tennessee at code orange. The firefighters are working hard to bring it to an end. Recently, more than 80,000 acres have been burned in Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky, the Carolinas, and Virginia due to a lack of rain. According to the Tennessee Department of Health, more than 200 patients have been hospitalized in Chattanooga due to breathing difficulties. Health officials are now trying to warn people to stay inside and wear masks for their own safety. Ways to prevent fires would be make a wildfire protection plan, be careful with fire, never play with matches, Check the air quality before coming out, avoid activities that increase pollution, and do not rely on dust masks for protection. People at risk include people with heart disease or lung disease, for example, people with asthma, and older people and children. Ms. Simpson is sponsoring a firefighter aid drive, and she would like students and teachers to donate, ad- to donate items to help them. Students that bring four items will qualify for one hour of volunteer service. Items, items in all donations should be brought to Ms. Simpson. For more information, please contact Ms. Simpson and speak with her about more of the firefighter drive. 
A few weeks ago, some Ram reporters played for 11 minutes and 57 seconds in virtual, re in virtual reality. Here's what they saw. In case you don't know what VR or virtual reality is, it is an artificial environment that is created through a computer software that allows users to interact. And if exploring the development of VR is something that you're interested in, then maybe you should consider majoring in computer science or computer software. Be aware that companies will be looking for people who are efficient in 3D composition and multimedia. What is that? Thanksgiving is next week and the Rams are in the spirit. Thanksgiving traditions differ from family to family. We want to know what some of these traditions are. Hey Charles, what is your normal Thanksgiving traditions? I don't do holidays, so I just eat food. Um, a lot of good stuff. Some people be hungry, you feel me, so you gotta eat, go one person's house. Let me think about it, come back. Come back. I'm going to eat a um, turkey. To eat turkey, get full, get a blanket, get a pillow, and go to sleep under my mom's dining room table. Eat, eat food, and, and we be okay. back. We be playing games. What are you going to do for Thanksgiving? A turkey. What about a turkey? I am going to. My daddy has a pointy thing that it can stick. A turkey. What you eating? Turkey. Eat. I normally go back home to Franklin, Tennessee during Thanksgiving holidays and spend some quality time with, with my family members. Eat. You know, the macaroni and cheese. Green eggs. Family get together? Yeah, family get together, you know. Me and thank you. I'm gonna eat turkey. Run Try News. Run Try News talked to a few few more students and even some teachers about what their favorite Thanksgiving foods and desserts are. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Um, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? Yes, I love mashed potatoes. My favorite Thanksgiving food is uh, greens, beans, potatoes, oh. and <laughs> hog moths. I like hash brown casserole, which is kind of similar to a potato thing, but it's kind of cheesy. The turkey and dressing. Yeah, I agree with this. Uh, oh, chicken, uh, turkey, 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 hot fries, oh, hot fries. That you hot fries? Tiny, bro, don't, 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 Hold on, can I think first? Oh, Hold on. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, really, okay. With the next one. Yeah. No, no, next no, no. <laughs> Potato salad. Potato salad ain't even food. I'm tripping. Dressing. I like chillies. Chillies? She's the way she's going to dress it. Chillies? No, I'm not even biting. Hell, turkey. I eat. Hell, hey, turkey, greens, eggs, carrots. I just eat. What's going on in the this week we have a weather report brought to you brought to you by two of our favorite China newscast reporters. Let's get a look at the weather for this weekend. Man, this your boy Kijun. This your boy Jason with the drone. Uh, but we got the news. Okay, and we gonna come here and do the weather for y'all real quick. You feel me? Get that out of y'all. I'ma sleep in the winter. Wake up in the summer. Call your girl. I just want a number. Pull up in the home. Yeah, the chopper on my shoulder. Yeah, I'm young, but I'm really getting older. Son, I got me looking blind. Who is this in my mind? I'm gonna pull it up. Put it up from behind. Just look at the nature. This is what weather does. This is what we do. Yeah, take a look. Take a look. Hold on. Let's all breathe in together. Don't breathe that in, dude. Exhale. Stop. Stop. You been hearing about them fires, dude. You been smelling gas all day. Come on. I forgot it was smoke around. <laughs> As you can see, you can see a little bit of sun, you know. Just a tad. Hit my face, you know. Yeah, take a whiff of it, you feel me? Just a tad. Okay. Okay. Saturday, you know, for the upcoming weekend, we're going to have sunny skies. Hope it stays sunny the whole weekend. You feel me? We want to go outside and enjoy ourselves with this beautiful weather, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Trees looking nice. Grass looking clean. You know what I'm saying? 
grass dirty. Trees ugly. The highest it's gonna be for Saturday is 60 degrees. The lowest gonna get 38. You know. Cold in the so if you don't like the cold, you might as well stay in the house. When it's cold about, outside. The sun goes down at what time, sir? It goes. What, what time did you say, sir? I think it goes down at seven, you know. Seven. So if you want to. Sounds all right. Sounds all right. Get a piece of this sun, you feel me? You see this sun? If you want that, you should be out. You fit well now. Let me see what time you should be out. Okay. You should be out before it's seven. That's before basically seven, what we said, man. You know, saying so it, get, it gets cold at night. Come on now. Come on out there. It was cold that night. You hear me? You gonna be outside? You gonna walk back in the house and be like, it was cold that night? Well, Rose, that's all we have for this episode of Rum Train News. We hope you all have a fun and safe weekend and even a better Thanksgiving. Please take a minute to look at the thanks wall in the senior hallway. All right, goodbye, Ram. Bye, Ram. Why do you think it's important to let your teachers know that you're thankful for them? I think it's important to let our teachers know that we're thankful for them because they um, work so hard to get us together. Um, they prepare us with a lot of work. And stuff and they be spent at school late at night, late at night, um, just up in the grades and stuff like that. So they probably just think that they all they work that they do for us, we just don't care about it. But in reality, we really do, and it helps us with our tests and stuff. Okay, as you know, kids wrote um, I'm thankful letters on the wall. How did you feel seeing your name and other teachers' name? How do you feel? about the teachers and the staff. How did you feel about that? It was a nice surprise. I didn't know it was happening. Um, it's nice to be affirmed um, by students. It really is. It, it means a lot. Um, I got a chance to read all of them up there and took some time to read them. There was very nice things said. Well, I thought it was a fabulous idea. First of all, because um, I've always known that I've had a good relationship with particularly like the seniors but the majority of the papers that were written were probably from freshmen. So it kind of just reinforced the fact that um, they liked me a little bit too. So that made me happy because I was kind of nervous to go to the freshman hall because um, I'm used to working with the older students. But um, just knowing that they appreciate me and that they do listen to some of the things that I say, some of them really funny kind of inside joke things. Um, it just made me feel good.